Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Siebert. It's time for our tropical forecast here on YouTube. Not a big surprise. Yesterday we had nothing organized in the Atlantic Sea Basin and guess what? We still don't have anything that's really going, which is actually great news. Now yesterday we did have some stronger waves out here in the Atlantic. Upper level winds kind of blew that apart. So we continue to watch tropical waves coming off of Africa, but they're not nearly as strong as they were earlier in the season. And obviously we have hardly anything going on in the middle. As they come over here in from the Bahamas, moving into the western parts of the Atlantic, you see all of this here. But if you look very carefully at it, these clouds are blowing off this way. The other clouds are coming more moving in an eastward direction. So the upper level winds again are shearing everything apart has no chance to organize and actually this is all part of a frontal boundary that continues to push eastward. Then we see this instability coming off the United States coast. Not really going to do anything either. That's actually associated with another cold front. As we come on into the Gulf of Mexico, same sort of deal. Upper level winds are still very strong. So even yesterday, in the western parts of the Caribbean. We had quite a bit of instability out there. That's been kind of blown apart. And so we'll see pop up showers, but nothing can last long enough to get that rotation going to have anything tropical develop, uh, which is great. And so, you know, we're into October and our and the things should be dropping off. But now October, believe it or not, we can still have storms that will pop up here. So let's take a second and show you where we continue to look this time of year for development. So of course, the Gulf of Mexico. Why the Gulf of Mexico? Because the water temperature is still above 80 degrees for a lot of it. Now the water temperatures are cooling, but it takes a little bit longer for it to cool down in the uh, Caribbean, I mean in the Caribbean and also in the Gulf of Mexico versus the Atlantic, because the Atlantic is a little bit deeper, also the way the wind patterns are. But we look in this general area as always a possibility, but again, that's just talking about like water temperature and normal weather patterns. When we have strong upper level winds, you're really not going to see anything develop. Of course, as I was even showing you yesterday, remember yesterday we were looking at the strong uh, instability that was here in the western parts of the Caribbean, but with, with those strong upper level winds kind of blew all that apart as well. So if we didn't have the strong winds, we'd be watching this a lot closer for any development, but this is one of the reasons why it just isn't happening at this point. Of course, we still always look here off the East Coast for because sometimes when a front will come off of the United States, the tail end of that front will have a little bit of swirl to it. And just as the wind is kind of going around the frontal boundary itself, and sometimes that can cause an area of low pressure to develop, but we're not seeing that now. And again, when the winds are so strong and, and a front does come off the coast, it comes off and then everything gets blown apart anyway. So that's one of the reasons why we're not seeing it there. Then last but not least, we always look here and again, because it's still warm, the waters are still warm enough. But as I was just telling you, with these strong upper level winds kind of blowing everything apart, nothing can have time enough to develop. And tropical systems are finicky. They have to have almost perfect conditions for everything to come together. Otherwise, you'll see some showers, you'll see some thunderstorms, but you won't see them starting to, to come together and work together to make a tropical system. So we still look here, and that's why I'm showing you these uh, even today and showing, watching what's happening coming off of Africa, because at this point, nothing is going to develop in the Atlantic Sea Basin. I love to say that no matter what time of year it is, but now obviously once we move into October, we're moving towards the end of October. Things are looking pretty good for us. It's quiet out there and hopefully that will continue. We'll see you next time.